you. Yeah, you. Come closer. Yeah. You're tuned in to OTFMZ. They got the tea, honey. It's your girl, Shuni the Rapper. Stay tuned. Peter Don. Yeah. Yep. We here, nigga. Hi, Pop. We I here. Know, how are you? Great. Nice to finally meet you. Great to meet you. So informally, but great to meet you. But it's enough me and what's up, what's up? Pop. Oh, you got the shirts too? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I need one of those. I see you. That got shit fire. You know, I'm used to seeing you at the pub, you know. You know what's so crazy? I yo, I I've been having braids for a while, like the like the twist for now while shit. So at the event this weekend, it was so many motherfuckers who didn't know who I was, bro. <laughs> they used to the pub. Debo was like, hey, hey, how you doing? I was like, what? Debo, for real? He was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, hey, hey, Farrah. She told me, hey. Um, so, if you don't know who Pop is, um, you want to maybe give him a little backstory on who you are, how you got started? I'm I'm your brother. That's it. <laughs> Facts. I'm Josh's brother, you know. My little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Josh Brother. I'm from I'm Josh Brother from Philly. Nah man, I'm a um I'm a I'm a music producer for for those who don't know, but how I um how I know Josh is just I uh 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 I don't know how long ago at this point, but I started um I, I got very involved in female battle rap. Female battle rap particularly just coming in as a sponsor and um helping helping to progress things. But I, I don't know if you you talking about who I am as a music producer. He being oh, like, humble, so all, all of that. But he helped with NHB. He helped with Jazz versus Official. Some of your greatest battles you ever seen. He helped with C. Um, we got Nina and Vixen, Official and Shuni. Um, a lot of the biggest battles in female battle rap history. He's been he's played a hand in getting those matchups um, for you. Jazz just said you got involved in 2012. See, she know. 2012. That's, that's history, though. That makes you a very significant player in the game. You, I, you know, in the in the moments when it's happening, like when I'm doing it or when I'm when I'm when I'm getting involved in those battles and those events, you don't, you know, it just feel like you 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 helping. But as time go on and some of those battles become monumental and classic or phenomenal how the people want to spin and it's like oh shit you know what i'm saying but in, in those moments you don't really realize what you are um assisting in and i'm proud of that shit yo i'm proud of those i'm proud of nhb i'm proud of official versus jazz i'm proud of hustle versus official i'm proud of official versus misfit you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm proud of 40 and bonnie like you know what i'm saying I, it's, it's a lot of them that I, I look back and i'm like damn those battles are like fucking Staples. Staples now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to shout out to Queen of the Ring for you know letting me be involved and, and Smack and, and URL for letting me be involved. What inspired you to start investing in the ladies? So I I had this like infinite debt to female rappers because a female rapper gave me my career. Um, I, I came in the game at 20, 19, 20 with Nikki before she was Nikki, you know, Nikki Minaj, Nikki Minaj. <laughs> you said that like with Nikki, like, well, I, I mean, look, I, I mean, for me, it's only one, you know what I'm saying? So I, she, I, 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 me and her met on my space and we started working and her mixtapes blew up and then Lil Wayne found her and then um, before I knew it, she was, you know, the biggest thing in the world. And she, she took me on that journey with her. And her first number one song was my first number one song. And in that Amazing. moment, that, 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 yeah, man, that, that gave me a, a fucking career. You mean? Wow. And from that point, I just was like, this is some shit. And it was just her at, at the time mm -hmm. on a commercial level. And I was just trying to find ways to help progress female rap however I could. 
Um, and battle rap is just one of the obviously, you know, one of the the, the not even one of the purest form of this shit. And I started getting into female battle rap, and I'm like, damn, how can I? Maybe there's somebody out there that has the the the, the potential to cross over on a commercial level. Um, and that was the that was the the agenda in the beginning. But before I knew it, I was just a fan of the spot. I didn't even know that was there, there was all these girls battle rapping. You know, so how did you stumble amongst the girls? Like, what was the first female battle that really got you? Like, this is what I really want to invest in. QB. Mm. I went on a QB. I'm gonna tell you, I, I went on a QB binge one day, and I was like, "Wow, she's crazy." And um, somehow or another, you know, how YouTube got the the Q on the side. I see something else. I click on it. And I seen Shayna Ashley. And then I was like, oh, shit. And I, I saw Shayna and Farrah. And then I saw Shayna versus Rain. And in that battle, I'm like, this is the this is the best shit I ever seen. I've never seen a girl rap like that in my life, bro. So I'm looking at Shayna bark on Rain. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I see another <laughs> Shayna Ashley battle. I click on that. And I see this little girl say, I don't care if you a family guy. He'll get Peter. That's what happens when your dogs talk. <laughs> I said, who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is that? And it was Jazz. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. nah. And I found Jazz on Twitter. And the craziest shit happened when I found her on Twitter. She was like doing her little, like, put her little remixes out. And she had just remixed a song that I had produced. Mm. And, and she was like kind of killing it. And I hit her up. I was like, yo, you nice. And from there, Jazz was Jazz been my little sister since then. Um, and that's how I, that's how I, before I knew it, I'm on, Josh used to just, I'm in the group, Josh, I'm trolling, being funny, I'm like, who's this, but was smart, knew what the fuck he was talking about, had a real good ear, had a really good unbiased opinion for the girls, and not just the girls, for the, for the, for, you know, on the URL side too, and me and Josh started, before, and I'm, I'm here, man, got introduced to Debo, Babs, and it just, you know. Yeah, I remember at NHB afterwards, we was, um, that's how I mentioned you was talking about asking people how the event was, trying to get feedback. And me and Rebby was speaking to you, talking to you about the event and yep. we were like, conversation. Just that's you right. And that, that, it was the day after, it was uh, not not PG's. What the fuck is it? The closed room, the sparring session. The, the closed yeah, room. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and that was when I'm, that's when I met you for the first time. And we've been rocking ever since then. I watched Josh. Got it. Motherfucking empire now, nigga. <laughs> you um, oh. he does. <laughs> yeah, you about? Um, no, I was gonna say. Um, speaking of Josh and you, you guys' friendship. Um, for people like media wise, you were making points that you noticed he was non biased, and you decided that you wanted to work with him. Mm -hmm. Um, can you go into some of the things you guys have worked with together? Well, we'll see, you know, see, um, so, um, his, his battle league, that was the, that was the first real thing that we were able to do together. Um, uh, we did the I, We did. Oh, you're right. I stand corrected. The ciphers actually, um, the girls are at the time. Um, and the girls I felt like me personally were, 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 um, underpaid in a sense, but, you know, on another hand, I guess, you know, business is business and the market for female battle rap is a lot smaller than male dominated battle rap. So just to know what some of the men get paid and what the girls is getting paid, it, it seemed a little off. So just trying to find ways to, you know, put money in their pocket um, or keep them motivated to rap. You feel me? Like who don't want to get paid to rap? Who don't want to get paid to do what the fuck they love? So it's like, yo, right. let's start these ciphers. And um, the winner, the winner get paid. You know, the winner get paid. I think we was doing five hundred dollars. Yeah, we was doing five hundred dollars a month. That's not a little bit of money. You know it's it's like, not. That's, that's I don't not even understand how I missed that. Where was, where was I? I don't know where you was at, dude. Where was my grown ass at? I'm surprised you wasn't in the cipher. Everybody yeah. real five hundred dollars. You know how to wrap my goddamn heels off. He hard, Shoney, Ferris, C three. We even got. Can't even tell me. We got hustle to come out. Yeah. We oh, ran them joints like once a month, I think. Like once every other month. 
Mm-hmm. They still on YouTube. Um, we started running the ciphers, and I, I thought that that was just a, a great way to keep the ladies motivated because, you know, female cards are so few and far in between, not like the male cards. You can smack do a, a male a card every every month or every other month. That's just the demand. Um, so the, the females, and, and then, you know, you do a female card, everybody not be able to, you know, they're not getting booked or they're not on that card. They're missing a card. And, you, I don't, I don't, I don't know what everybody's doing in their personal life, but, or, or, or their struggles or what. I just felt like, you know, anybody could, five hundred dollars to rap. I mean, shit, you know. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, let's get another one going. I, Josh. I think that's a dope idea. I think OTFMZ like. Josh, Josh the boss. We got to get some ciphers going. Ciphers. Some, some freestyles, in-person freestyle studio sessions. I love it. Yeah, we, we've got some stuff in the works. Um, I know you mentioned, you know, you being a sponsor and having your hands and things. What all comes with being a sponsor um, for a battle and battle rap? I mean, the main the main part is just the, the, the financial, Back. financial backing of it at the end of the day but over time when i like i got i got real relationships with some of them now like jazz and official for instance you know um sponsoring them come with a little more like they know that they could I'm about to snitch on them a little bit they know they could lean on me a little bit more for things like pop i don't like this hotel like, can you put me in a different one? Or, you know, just this little shit like that. Just making sure that whoever I'm sponsoring or whatever battle that I'm sponsoring, that they are completely comfortable. Comfortable with everything from the pay to stay. The the, the where they fall at, um, as far as the, you know, the event go, if they second, third, if they don't like where they at, I'll go to D Boy. I'll go to Beasley and be like, listen, she wanna go third she don't want to go fourth you know what i'm saying or whatever the case may be um kind of acting as like a little like a fake ass manager in a sense you mean like uh, she don't like this hotel or you, we got to change the flight to this or you know um i i pull i pull my resources from you know makeup to hair to whatever like just to make sure that whatever i'm i'm a part of that they're comfortable um as comfortable as can be to get the best performance that they can give so and Did that's... you learn a lot of these um, tactics from working with Nikki? Absolutely. I, I learned a lot of these tactics just being in the business. Like, in general, I've been in the business so young, um, for so long, since I was so young, and just seeing how um, how women, like, when they're treated right in this business, how they're supposed to be treated. Taking some of that and what I've seen from, like, you know, from, yeah, it, Nikki's a great example how James Cruz and um, all these other people like how they treated Nikki and made sure that she was comfortable every time she even if just for a studio session you know what I mean like uh, candy's there her tea is there her light is there you know what I mean like the, the right engineer the right microphone um, so that she could be at her best that's how I approach it when I sponsor the battles for the most part like are you, is this enough for you to be at your best? Because that's what we want. We want your best. We want your best performance that you can give us. Um, and yeah, I got to see a lot of that. I got to see a lot of that. Not just from Nikki's side, but just from, you know, a couple of different sides. Um, you said you've been doing this for a while, um, even before Nikki. Uh, was being a producer and being in the music industry something that you always wanted to do? No. Uh, um. <laughs> I, I think I think like every I think like every little nigga I, I had a I had sports dreams at one point. What um, sport? Football. I wanted to, I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't you mean you couldn't tell me I wasn't gonna be one of the greatest then that goes and then I, I at a young age I think a lot happened a part of my story it's a part of my story that a lot of people don't know about. A lot happened when I was really young. Um I, I was being like, I guess shopped around as like this child prodigy at like 13, 14. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was, I spent a summer with Puff and 
Clive Davis wanted to sign me and Puff wanted to sign me. And it was all these great things happening. I was, I wasn't even out of middle school. I'm still in the eighth grade type shit. And, um, you spent the summer with Puff in the eighth grade and Clive Davis, like these, this was your mentorship. It, and it sound amazing, but at, I didn't get it at the time. Like I didn't get that. I didn't get being around the, the track masters and all this shit so young. I, like it wasn't as impressive as it, I guess as it should have been. I or, can relate. I, I, I mean, like, it. I'm missing shit. I'm missing niggas is calling me like yo, right? Momo and Red for a nigga down tip street. You miss <laughs> I'm like nigga. I miss them niggas. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm doing this shit. I I I didn't really value it. I guess as as much as I I could have, but um I I kind of just stopped wanting to do this shit, and I was like. Uh -uh. I don't want to do this shit no more. And then, you know, I stopped kind of start fucking up, got into the got into the streets and, and just start fucking up after a few traumatic experiences. I kind of stopped that, decided I wanted to go to culinary school because anybody that know me know I, I, I really like cooking is really what I love yeah. to do. Thank you. We got that in common. I seen your cakes, though. That's the one step that I did it master was baking because it just drove me crazy because you have to be really precise with baking is very exact baking so is, that's the... is very is very precise yes yes um you can't you can't miss a motherfucking that'd be that'd be my that'd be my actually all my baby moms like cook like bake for like for, for living it's, it's kind of crazy but yeah I, I, I was strong go to culinary school and um, I started like selling. I started making beats again to sell them on the street. You know, wow, all the all the all the dope. Where I'm from, anyway. Every nigga that sell drugs, rap. So, them nigga, and them niggas got the money to buy the beats. You feel me? So I'm selling them. I'm selling them beats, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars here. And, I, and again, you know, seventeen years old. I'm, it's a lot. You know, I'm stacking, 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 trying to go to school. Because at this point, also, I'm 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 not doing well in school. You mean right. like I'm not doing well? I don't see a future for me um, in school. And I had a message I used to copy and and paste to everybody I found on on MySpace. All these rappers, and Nikki was like one of three that responded. Uh. And as I started working with her, I believed in her, and I dropped out of high school. I dropped out of high school to 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 focus on that shit, and she blew up so so fast and before i knew it i had a career and i had a number one song and niggas is like i nigga, you not going to call i'm school. a nikki <laughs> fan so automatically i'm a fan of you what is the number one song and can i please hear the other songs that you did with her i did a lot of the mixtape stuff the the first mixtape those are the greats those are the greats go so the first mixtape song that really like we was like, oh shit, was Beam Me Up Scotty. <sighs> Beam Me Up Scotty, when Beam Me Up Scotty was like g getting played on the radio, which allowed, you know, uh, some of the other ones she had, the I Get Crazy and the Itty Bitty Pig. Like, that, that mixtape took off like a fucking album. It did. Because her love didn't originally pop at first, it ended up popping later. So, 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 yeah, so your love, I, your love was a was Your love was the surprise leak that was a hit. I remember her going making making interviews like, I really didn't want you guys to hear that one. I really wasn't secure with that song. And that's the one I love. And that's I love the way she looked like, in the video with everything. I, I didn't even mean to send her that beat. Mm. I don't that's know who your I made beat? That. that beat is amazing. So just like Nikki, I have insecurities about that song too. Because the the beat was not like a lot of producers like we don't finish the beat right then and there we finish the beat after the song is done so the beat was never done nikki was never done the song i heard and, her say that in an interview at, at hot beats it's a studio in atlanta called hot beats somebody leaked your love and and, and a song that was supposed to be cassie single at the time they leaked them on the same day um and nikki was on that song and the leak was popping, but we, you know, we it's a leak. And at the time, leaks was popular. We like, you know, but leaks went away in like two weeks. We like, the leak will go away, whatever. Nikki put out another song, her, fir her first single. Um, Massive Attack. Massive Attack. <laughs> and, um. Yeah, let's try Gary. 
with Sean <laughs> Garrett. And even even with that, the leak never went away. <laughs> the leak now, of never went away. Did you feel, because now when you're saying that, and I'm reflecting on that, mm. you, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I have to. Your love and then Massive Attack, which mm -hmm. was the, the purpose. That was the, the first single that was purposely put out. Mm -hmm. And your song was the better song. And what public the public would say, we would have loved if that was the official leak. Did that like put some confidence in you? Like No, because <laughs> because we weren't happy with it. Hey, okay. hey, you know hey. I mean? like, okay. We weren't we wasn't happy with it. You know, you know when you're not happy with some motherfuckers, be like, nah, it was it's dope. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's dope. Go ahead. It's fine. You know what I mean? So the leak is not going away. And at the time, Nikki's management was like, yo, we can't, this song is, this is the type of song that'll ruin your fucking legacy. And I didn't disagree. Hmm. She was singing and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, this shit is like, you know what I mean? Um, and then I remember one week I was looking, I'm, I, you know, I look at the Billboard charts every week and I looked at the Billboard charts and I saw your love. And it it wasn't it wasn't officially released it wasn't officially serviced to radio it was unmixed it was unmastered it was a demo but because of the radio play it was getting it it had started charting on on billboard with yeah. no social media with no social media that, nothing right. there was no tiktok there was no nothing. at the time they wasn't even counting digital sales like itunes sales and shit like that it was just straight up radio support and i called her and i was like yo this shit is on the chart. And I sent her I sent her a picture of it. She was like, damn. And um baby Birdman was like, I don't give a fuck with nobody saying we about to I'm putting this shit out for real. And this is five months after it leaked. Yeah, I remember it leaked and it, it like it still it was Yeah, it, was it, not it, 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 it went for away. Good, yeah, yeah, and, and a lot yeah. of this had to do with um my my sister from Philly, DJ Diamond Cuts. I remember. Her. I always got to I always got to shout her out when I tell this story because she was she would play that song like it was fucking Katy Perry at the time. Like she she would play that bitch every hour on the hour, and um, Baby was like, I'm putting this shit out. Nikki, it did a Nikki re fixed the verses a little bit. She went and she re-recorded the song. I like cleaned up the beat a little bit. I tried to start adding a bunch of shit to the beat. I tried to really produce it out, but Niggas, you know, it was just like, yo, this is what the fans already hear, and this is already what they want. We we just put it out a little cleaner, and that shit, that was my first number one song. That was her first number one song. And at that point, nigga, culinary school is, it's not happening. <laughs> you, you can't, it's not some shit you can just walk away from and start getting all these other calls, and before you know it, I'm, I'm with Drake, and I'm with Trey Songs. I'm doing all these other things, and... And aside from um, Nikki, you've also worked with Rihanna, um, J Lo, Big Sean, Ursh Usher. Um, I'm trying to think, it was another song that was in my head that um, I was thinking of. I forgot. It's another one in my head. Yeah, but, yeah girl, yeah, girl. Oh, don't say it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tory Lanez. Yeah, so yeah girl. Hey, hey Michelle, you yeah, work. With, oh, yeah. you work with the goat. You did VSOP. For the goat, K Michelle, you know it don't get. That's one of the ones. Somebody said that Kay album. Kalani, yeah, you did Kalani, work with Kalani. I forget sometimes what I've done. And in, in, in recent years, um, my my path is kind of, um, my my path kind of switched lanes a little bit to like more pop music. I've, I've been I've been lucky enough to you know work with Ariana and Grande. Uh, a lot of other shit. It's a lot of shit coming that I can't talk about right now, but it's it's good. It's good. With with like um, heavy hitting uh, shit, um, the industry and battle rap right now, we're kind of at a point where battle rap is crossing over into becoming industry. Yeah. Uh, how do you see that going, and how do you feel about the movement? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a rap with you, right? I have my I was skeptical. I didn't know how to feel about the the commercialization of like 
everything that's that's going on. And after attending after this weekend, I'm on board. Mm. So you, you board. did you do the whole weekend or did you just do the event? I didn't do Friday. I I did I did the event and I gotta say it was I haven't felt like that since I haven't felt like that in a long time. Mm. I haven't felt like that in a long time. It was also my first caffeine event that I attended, but um it just it felt right. This nigga Drake is in the crowd with everybody. Reacting. Touching like, like touching niggas' shoulders, strangers and shit like oh I, am. I I think that let me know that battle rap can re maintain its and, and keep the essence of what it or what it really is, even with niggas like that being involved. Um and me seeing that. I love it. I think I just had to see you. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like I, just, I had to. I kind of experienced that like, one moment. That was it. That was it. Even from the like being in media and being in the background, just watching and seeing the growth from where we were then to now, uh, it is. It's nice to see. You know, it's like it's you see it elevating right before your eyes. So so much potential on what can become of battle rap at, at this point. Um, yeah. You mentioned a lot of female battles that you have sponsored. What was your favorite battle that you sponsored? My favorite battle that I sponsored? Um, damn, I don't know, bro. If so, you, yo, I don't know. I I'll say the one that's. One that's close to my heart is Jazz and E-Heart because E-Heart is my favorite battle rapper, right? If you know me, you know that. And I feel like Jazz, personally, is the best female battle rapper. So I feel like I had the girl that I feel like is the best and I had the girl that's my personal favorite going at it and it was fucking incredible. So that one I hold very dear to my heart. Jazz versus official, it was the, it was it was it was nowhere. To say that that was official's debut would be a fucking complete lie, right? But it felt like it. It felt like it for me. It felt it, like it, it was a breakthrough moment. Like it was a breakthrough moment, and I'm really really fucking proud of that moment too. You feel me? Um. It's something about all of them, like 41st versus Bonnie, right? Like, that's probably my favorite 40. And 40 is 40, you feel me? But she went so crazy to me in that battle. I'm proud of that one. Um, so it's a couple. NHB alone, we got Tori, you know, the remote bar. Jazz versus 40, that, you know, that's... The uh, right-click menu bar from e -Heart. Right you know what I mean? Like it was, it was a lot, and that that event alone, I'm so um I'm proud to be a part of. So, all of them mean something to me. You know, all of them mean something to me. Each and every one. Um, shit, even Bonnie and my verse. You know, that was a big deal. That's a big deal because it wasn't. That was the first time you know girls was was on that platform and it without jazz or without hustle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um. And that I, I, that meant a lot to me. Um, some about all of them. It's, 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 you know. It's like you, we're really watching it. It's almost like um, a version of hip hop, but the hybrid version. Like we're watching this culture grow and cultivate and reinvent itself every era. And now I feel like we're in it. We're in an era of, this really could be a thing. This really could be a crossover thing. This really could be a sport. Yeah. This really can be viewed in the ESPN type type, type style. Um, this this can be a, a hub a, of hip hop, like a cousin of hip hop, a real industry. It's, it's bringing in money, but it's not being documented what 
battle rap does when they touch cities. And I think that's important. It's just that the big media outlets aren't paying attention to what it does when they hit these cities. Because when we were in Houston, it's like, we're eating everywhere. There's like, if 600 people land in your city yeah. to spend money, that's a big deal. A big deal. That's a big, a big deal. It's a big deal. That's it's fucking tourism. This is, you know, it's a big, it's a big deal. It's 600 um, people landing in your city for a sub a subculture. Yeah. So I feel like we should really start putting more respect on like battle rap because this year showed us that it can be everything that we dreamed it could be. And I feel like now that Drake's involved, we get in Cassidy and Freeway. I feel like we're definitely going to start seeing more industry rappers yeah. um, willing to take on battle rap. And I feel like we're going to have a whole new wave of new talent wanting to pour themselves into battle rap um, yeah. for chance to be able to skyrocket. Uh, with, with you doing music and being in battle rap, have you worked with any of the artists as far as musically? Um, anybody that you think have potential to take off musically at this point? I haven't I haven't had the chance to work with too many people. Um I I will tell y'all this. I I love I love surf music. I would I would I would work with Sue Surf. I would love to work with Sue Surf. Mm -hmm. I like Calico's music. I, I love that I love the Detroit shit. I've been on a Detroit shit for a few years now. Um I've worked, me and, y'all haven't gotten music from jazz ever, because I have it all. We're waiting. I heard some of it. I heard you some heard of it. some of it, and that was a long time ago. Even. That was a while ago. I heard they was fired, though. Yeah, they was fired, and I know everybody give her a lot of flack for not, you know, putting out music, but I'm at the point where that music she do with me, I just feel like it got to be right. Timing got to be right. Everything got to be right. Um she was so focused on other things, but that's the one battler that I work. I'm lying. I worked with QB and I worked with Miss Hustle. Mm. I worked with QB and I worked with Miss Hustle. Debo and Babs, I don't know what they were doing. I don't remember the exact idea of what they had, but it was a brilliant idea, and I think that they should start it back up. Um, I think they were going to put like a little compilation album or something together. For the girl. Didn't they do a mixtape? They did a mixtape before. Yeah, it was a mixtape. I, yeah, I, I was, oh, that's I, Yolo. Miss Hustle Yolo was on there. Oh yeah, I was on the hook for that. Oh really? Yeah, that's crazy. I okay. definitely like, got the hook for Yolo. Okay, let mm -hmm. me find me a pizza. I, I don't re I don't remember, but they they bought them. It was called Queen of the Ring, I think. Yeah, it was. They bought, but. They, bought they bought Hustle Hustle and QB to Philly to work with me, and um. It was it was a lot of fun. I did a I did a rap song with QB. I never forget this, yo. I did a rap song with QB, and then I'm going through beats for hustle, and Babs like nah. Babs like hustle, playing what you played me. A hustle like I did this in the studio last night. She played me this song, and it's this girl singing, and it's really good. And hustle might get mad at me for telling the story. It's a girl singing and it's like it's good. And I'm waiting for hustle to rap and there's no rap. I'm like, what's I'm like, what's she like? Nah, that's me. I'm like, oh, Babs like, <laughs> yeah, she can like, sing. Babs like, yeah, nigga, make her sing. And me and Miss Hustle worked on like a whole R and B song. We never finished it, but um, I don't know if, if many if people know that Miss Hustle even had that talent for real. Like she she yeah, she's she been doing like some singing, um, on some of her music that she's been putting out. Um oh. so yeah. Um, somebody, got, how did you feel about the newer queens? Do any of the newer girls give you that same feel as when you saw QB and Jazz? And... Yeah, I'm a big, you know, um, the caffeine. I I call them the caffeine five: Casey, Coffee, Vixen, Yoshi, and Flames. That's what I call them. I call them the caffeine okay. five. They such a they such a pivotal part of this this renaissance that battle rap is experiencing right now like they're super fucking important those girls they are right now i feel like they're the ones that are keeping the wheel moving with female battle rap they're ushering in that new class of elite females i don't even think we've been to a point where we've gotten this many storylines 
new girls that that much active until now. Um, you usually hear about the fans complaining the new girls don't have personality, and I yeah. feel like one of those girls you named have a character that they've built um, that's working for them. I like um, I, I like all five of them a lot, um, and I and I think all five of them actually make original music. Like I've seen. I've heard or seen, I don't remember which one, or probably both a Yoshi. I don't know if it was an original song or a freestyle, but it was it was a lot of character in it. Yoshi she, um Casey, I feel like really makes good ass like traditional girl from the South Texas like music. That shit is really good. Coffee. Right? Coffee music. Coffee shit is crazy. Yeah, I like I like coffee music too. Coffee music is crazy. And and I, and it's crazy because um I like her music for the same reason that I love her as a battle rapper. It's very unorthodox. Uh -huh. The way she approached beats is very I'm sometimes I, I hear it and I be like, I don't even know how she heard to rap right. like that. right it's an acquired taste with coffee it's, you know what i mean like but it's it's so crazy and that's how she she um that's how i feel about her as a battler too um as far as the new girls go as far as, as far as the new girls with with a with a uh, you know music i guess on a commercial level go um i if i if i missed anybody i'm not tapped in so if y'all know if any of the new girls make original music and it's crazy shit put me on Hope Trilly is fire on the beat too. She make good Hope music. Tr Hope Trilly. Um, I'll send you some of her stuff, but she's dope. Yeah, I'll tap in. Me and some of your shit. Definitely. You got another question, um, do? Um, I missed what you guys. I'm mad. I missed that y'all was talking about coffee because I love coffee's music too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about um any of the new girls that give him the same feel as when he saw QB, um, you know, jazz. You, you mean just as far as battle rap? Um, I mean, in general, but you answered that. You gave the, the Caffeine Five. He named Flames, Yoshi, Casey. Oh, Vince, yeah, I love Yoshi on beat. Coffee. Uh, but battle rap. Mm -hmm. Well, bat well, far as battle rap go, I, I, me personally, I'm a big coffee fan. Um, and, the, and the reason I love coffee is because, I mean, you talked about this before, Josh. As a as a as a nigga, she say everything I want to hear, and she say it like I never heard it before. Yeah, she's very like I, I what I like about coffee is that I feel like she says a lot of things that I haven't heard before. Um, so with her being unorthodox, the way her punches land are a little bit like, oh, I thought it would have went like this, but it, I thought it was gonna land here. It's landing like, over here. Yeah, it all, I love it. I, I love it. That's that's the best part. It's like it's always so. It catches me off guard, and I've heard a lot of stuff and a lot of battles. So she always seems to surprise me. That, that's that's what that's what I love about coffee. Um, far as Vixen, right? Vixen to me reminds me of a a re a, a re like a new official, and that's a compliment. Um, Vixen is the first girl that made me feel how official felt since official. Um, and Vixen, you know, Vixen been doing it for for a while, but nigga, I'm talking I'm talking about the new Vixen. You feel me? Like the new Vixen, the the leveled up Vixen, give me that same feeling. Official gave me her first couple battles, you know. Um, Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi, I just think is brilliant. Yeah. Oh my God, I was gonna say I feel like Yoshi's brilliant on the beat. I feel like she's brilliant in general. I even like I know I do, but persona. it's something about like, when she I like what she gets. Cause you know I'm a beat person. So when she raps on beat, it's just like she gets it. Yeah. And I've and I've heard a couple of those things. I mean, you I don't know if you was on here, but I I mentioned I saw a freestyle, I heard a freestyle of hers and it was really good. It had a lot of character. And I liked it. And as far as a battle rapper, she's brilliant. The way she is um marketing herself to the top is brilliant to me it's something we haven't seen in a while 
It's like not too many motherfuckers have done that in battle rap, have marketed themselves to 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 the top with like a a slight gimmick. Have we ever? I don't think we've ever seen it with the girls. Not with that. So. Not with that courage. Not because yeah. I feel like what she's doing takes courage, and you she's standing out by herself. Yeah. This is a lot of. It takes a lot of courage to do to market really herself the way really she's tapped done it. into her. You know, she really tapped into her like her Vince McMahon mind into herself. You know what I mean? Like, like it's she her versus her. I like it. She, I, I, I like what Yoshi is doing. I, I wanna, I don't want her to talk herself out of too many plates, but right, I, <laughs> right. I, right. I love a little bit. But I love what she's doing though. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, Flames. Now, out of the new girls again, I'm not saying Flames is the best. Flames might be my personal favorite. Musically? No, 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 no. Musically, I, I think you need Flames. I've never I, heard of, heard much music from Flames either. I, I think I may have heard on the beat once, but I've never heard of music. Yeah. But just as a battle rapper, she give me the same feeling. E heart give me like all of these girls that we talking about right now give me the, the same feeling as a another girl from a different class or you know from a different generation gave me when I first became fans of them. Um those five girls, which I think is pretty um I think that's I think which I, I think that's crazy. With, I think we do again. Yeah, she probably should be back. Uh with battle rap, um Oh, with Battle Rap Crossing Over, do you feel like professionalism is going to play uh, a part and maybe a little bit of a rift in Battle Rap? Um, since the crossover, we got the Coffee and Hustle situation. Uh, we got Murder Mook, Leak and the Drake, Audio. Uh, it's a lot of scandals going on at the same time that it's elevating. Do you think that that's going to help or hinder um, the collaboration being for someone who's in the industry? I think it depends on what you in it for, what you, what you, what you, you mean? Like, if you're, I guess it's a, it's a couple different ways to look at it. A lot of motherfuckers might look at it as a hindrance, like, oh, they fucking up the money. I come from an industry where I just understand that that's the shit that fuels it. Mm. But keep that, that's the gas in the tank for, for to keep the shit moving. Cause. <laughs> Nigga, you brilliant for this shit. <laughs> for real, you brilliant for this shit. That I I I look at like the hustle coffee situation. I don't want to speak too much on it because I love both of them and I'm scared of both of them. So go to your Illuminati TV page. You said what? I was talking to dude. She said she was man. I was telling her to get on Illuminati TV page. Jobs, you are asking really elevated questions. I'm so proud. Oh, uh, thank you, Shuni. Love Shuni. Shuni. I love Shuni too. Um, I look at the coffee and hustle situation and I get it. Like I saw a lot of comments of motherfuckers being like, oh, this make female battle rap look bad and shit like that. And I and I understand it from the perspective of like, you know, on one hand, certain league owners that are successful without the female battles might not be inclined to feel like they need to book them. You know what I mean? But I look at it like this shit is like this shit is lit. I I, I want to be a part of it, you know. I I seen Babs do an interview and she said we're in a culture that throws off some, off of negativity. Like you you're writing for the battle, you're writing negative stuff about your opponent. Um, you're reading negative comments from the fans. It's a lot of negative background stories going on. So it's like when something negative happens, it's going to fuel the culture to speak. But everybody act like everything's going to be a positive situation out of an industry that thrives off negative. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand how it could be. Right. I don't, I don't, that might be fucking impossible. We, we're going to have a, a couple hiccups in a row, a couple bumps every now and then. And, and it's not new. You mean like, it's not new. Nigga, I, it's just not new from, from, from street corner battles to, to fucking, to, to, to smack battles. It's not new. Right. It's a part of it. Right. That's why when everybody act like OTF is such a big thing. I'm like, yo, if you really think about it, even before we became like a media platform, all this stuff was just happening in the OTF 
Facebook group. Like it was just happening in the OTF Facebook group, and I think. Oh that, <laughs> And I, I think in the comments, <laughs> She is. Oh yeah, yeah she. Is. Yeah, let me twerk or something. <laughs> 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 it's stupid, man. I think that um, hi Lizzo. She look at the face. Oh. <laughs> we exposed her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that you know, it's not new. And Shuni just said it keeps that rawness. Mm, thanks. Absolutely. It's no different than what you're what you're doing, what you're doing, Josh, and what y'all doing with OTF and Z. You just making it easier for me to to see all the shit I'm gonna go look for anyway. I'm not gonna sit up here and act, can't nobody sit up here and act like they're not gonna go look. You hear something, you're not gonna go look for it. You gonna go look, you're gonna look for it. You're gonna Scroll through every interview, every comment, see what the fuck you may have missed if you a real fan of this. That's a fact. Even when I looked, I was showing, Coffee came over the day, I was showing her, like, she was like, y'all only have, like, 4,000 followers, and it's like, people with all these followers, they be so invested in what y'all post. And I showed her our insights, like, we only got 4,500 followers, but our nine followers be, like, 30K for the month. So it's like, everybody's tapped in, so they there have no go. choice but to respond. There you go. And and that's that's what I'm saying. Just press the fucking button. I I pressed I pressed the fucking button because I'm already knowing I'm tapped in. I'm tuned in. I'm interested. Right. This is this is a sport that I'm a fan of. It's no different, it's no different than 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 than, than football, for instance. Like it's scandals in football, it's scandals in basketball. The ash. It's, it's scandals in basketball too. I keep the fuck up. With up. I keep the fuck up with all of that. that. You know, this is the same shit. This is the same shit in my. I want all the smoke. That's crazy. I want all the smoke. Now you want to pop? That's crazy. Huh? Talking to Shayna, she talk about pop look good. That's our person. Heard you, Shayna. <laughs> it's the shit for me. Um, go ahead, dude. Boom. Was that the connection, or was that his two hours? <laughs> I don't know. Cause you know, uh, IG is crazy. Back. They don't want me on the Hurricane Do page. I don't think I'm supposed to be on there. But I can sneak in every now and then. Back, my bad. Um, Shayna. Got a question, dude? Um, let me think. I, I wanted to ask you. So we asked him about the new females coming up. Obviously, God, you guys talked about the salaciousness in the comments and how the girls decide to respond to it. Do you have any um, advice? This is pretty much a basic question, but I think always a helpful one. Do you have any advice as far as like up and coming female battlers with marketing? Because I feel like marketing is a big thing that they miss out on and don't necessarily understand. I mean, my advice is, I think people in any in any field, right? spend too much time trying to uh, reinvent the will. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with new. We love new, right? But it's really no idea is original, for real, for real, at the end of the day. So I would just look at the girls you trying to get to. I would just look at what they've done and how they did it and see if there's a path if you could if you could follow that same path yourself or you know make a new path that's similar to get to the same place i like i again like what yoshi is doing to me is marketing one oh fucking one 
What Jazz the Rapper has done is marketing 101. What Official has done is marketing 101. That, and that's just a few. You know, um, I, could, I could go like Fair and Shuni being like the, you know, the first from, that I saw. Being I the first, a, a female battle rap. Yeah, like being, being the, that was the first Shayna Ashley marketing herself. That was the first bully. That was Big's little sister. You know what I mean? Like, there was just certain things that these girls latched on to, and they rode that wave to get them where they where they are. Um, I don't I don't really have any advice per se because marketing is such a broad. I don't have any specific advice. Marketing marketing is is, is such a broad concept, you know. Um, but there are formulas there to mm -hmm. to study and i would study i would study those formulas of some of the other girls that have reached that reached that place right um, you know that's that's hey, shit if i was coming in i would do that i would be like yo how the fuck did surf get here i'd do my fucking homework is, is and, that a whack um sweater? say it again is that a whack world sweater? oh nigga you uh oh Oh my! No. <laughs> my, I had the t-shirt. It came, but mine was too big. So maybe you could send her a text. I don't know if she needs to read. What, you, what you mean? I got the. I need the sweater. It's the winner. But um, yeah, I got the um, the one that say wet going down, but it was too big. It's it be it's a little oversized. Yeah, he be he be he wear it to sleep because it's too big for me. It's, <laughs> so a little, it's a little oversized. It's supposed to be. Nah. But yeah, I, 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 far as that, I, I would just, that's in any business. Puff, Puff got the way Puff got. Studying somebody else. It's, it's, you know, Jay got the way Jay got studying somebody else. Um, and that's just that's that's really the that's really it. That's what you gotta do. You gotta look at the greats and the people you respect and those careers that you admire. If it's a career out there. Take your pride and put it away, right? Look at a female battle rapper and say, damn, if I could have anybody's career, I want her career. Go study it. Go study it and go take key points and apply it. Try to make it work for you if it worked. I, same shit I did to get where I'm at as a producer, as a songwriter. Um, I studied the right people. That's it. Uh, Josh, you studied the right motherfuckers from media. You mean? Like that it mean. Who I'm sure you do the same thing. That Yeah, I'm a little I studied Oprah. You know, I'm a little yeah, I, think, older. I think I'm Wendy Williams. <laughs> there you go. It's the same shit. Um, it's the same shit. That's my advice to the new girls. And um yeah. Um, let's play a little a little bit of this or that. Um, so doing a hip hop song or R and B song? For what though? For what you mean? For for the artist. You you wanna which one fulfills makes you more happy? Oh I'm doing this R and B record, it's a classic, or oh I'm doing this hip hop record and it's a classic. Damn. Oh no. I'ma say I'ma say R and B. I'm gonna say R and B for me. And and even if that's not what I wanted to say, my my if I would have said rap, my discography would have contradicted that. So I'm gonna say R and B. Cardiac is cardiac is on here. Cardiac is a fucking legendary producer. And he just said we just had this conversation and we did. Well, what was his answer? To the, what was his answer then, Cardi? <laughs> <laughs> he said what? I asked him what was the answer then. Did he switch it up? Or he gave us the same. No, answer? no, 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 no. Literally the same thing. Like me and this nigga, we both love rap. We both come from rap. We both got our career started in rap, and over time, we both become like the R and B go to guy. Like Cardiac produced Damage for her. He he produced so many like oh, new R and B classics and. 
But I'm mean this nigga talking like niggas crazy that we come from like rap, like rap, 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 rap. And over time, it's just like things change, sounds change. You know, you you start to appreciate different shit, even on a business, and the business is way different. And I just somewhere somewhere along the way, I found myself feeling more appreciated in R and B and pop music, but my heart is in rap music. My heart is always in rap music. But yeah, I, I'm I'm a, to answer the question, I'm gonna say R and B. You got you got one um do female battle rap or male battle rap? Don't ask me that. <laughs> we waiting, nigga. We... <laughs> you know what? After jazz performance this weekend, I'm gonna say female battle rap. Mm. Jazz changed the game. Let's go, jazz. All right. Let's... All right. Um, Foxy Brown, or Lil Kim. Foxy, that's one of my favorite rappers ever. Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking. Did I say something wrong? Thinking. Oh. Uh, nah. This is controversial. Nikki or Cardi? Come on. I I gotta. Let's just say, I didn't want to say Nikki. I'm obligated. I'm by default. I gotta say Nikki. Like, but that's my real answer. Right. Oh, okay. That's, that's my real answer. <laughs> you don't know, you know have to uh tap a ring live. Ooh. Nah, Nikki. They don't wanna come up. That's cool. It's 